Samsung Galaxy Note 8, 6GB of RAM, 3300 mAh battery, 6.3 inch Super AMOLED display, 3 touching home button, 12 and 8 megapixel camera with optical processor with H2H light, and much more. I'm here with Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Wanna see the full review and unboxing? Then keep watching. Traditional Samsung, a two-piece, all-black, soft-touch cardboard box, complete with glossy blue lettering on the front. Everything else natively organized underneath. For starters, You'll get one Samsung adaptive fast charger rated at 5 volt and 2 ampere. There is also a SIM ejector in the bundle. You'll also find a USB 3.1 Type C to Type A cable for data transfer and charging as well as a pair of converters. One is a micro USB, while the other a simple Type A unit. Note 8 is slightly bigger than its AC Plus siblings in every dimension. Samsung's Infinity display is still probably the most impressive smartphone panel. The bigger is better way of thinking than at 6.3 inch. Samsung opted for a telephoto approach much like that on the Apple iPhone 7 Plus. The Note 8 has two 12 megapixel snapper wide angle. It is tried and true and very capable f1.7 aperture telephoto it has the same 12 megapixel re resolution f2.4 aperture the note it comes with a few extra camera modes all of them are pretty self-explanatory you can download more as well pro mode is really impressive it is full featured and offers very granular Controls at your disposal. ISO, white balance, shutter speed, exposure, compensation, and even options for metering and manual focus with focus speaking. The Note 8 can capture stills up to 4032 into 3024 pixel with the 12 megapixel snapper. This does mean a native aspect ratio of 4.3 for the sensor. Of course, you could shoot in 16.9 instead, but this isn't really recommended. Still, it can also be captured in the display's native 18.59 aspect, but that does make them quite awkward to use on any other display. To check the camera and the video quality, let's go to the outside. JPG is the natural default, but there is also a convenient option to save a raw photo. Along with every shot you take in pro mode, there are also toggle for focus tracking and automatic shape correction in the settings menu. Samsung has always preferred ramping up color saturation and sharpness to a certain point, and the Note 8 makes no exceptions. Note 8 still captures some of the sharpest, most detail-rich 4K video we have seen in a while. The Note 8 offers EIS in the resolution all the way up to 4K. It can be toggled off in the camera settings in situations where you don't really want to sacrifice a portion of the frame for stable shot. OIS is also open in the background. The EIS system seems to work even better when you drop the resolution down to 1080p. There is a video compare tools for the Note 8 as well in the both 4K and 1080p. Feel free to pick the against your contender of your choice. 
He said, why is the 52mm cam get EIS as well? All the way up to 4 k resolution it works well overall, but we did observe a few odd rapid jitters of the frame a few times while shooting the primary camera exhibits no such issues. This season the Note comes with another advantage over S8, the dual camera. It offers 2x optical zoom and improved port effect. It still offers excellent image quality in the both good and low light. While a bit late to the party, Samsung was the first to add OIS to the secondary camera, a vital feature for telephoto shoots. Samsung is still sticking with adaptive first charging solution. Frankly, it does a good job filling the 3300mAh battery from 0 to 40% in 30 minutes. There is also support for Qualcomm Quick Charger 2.0, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. But not least, the Note 8 is also capable of wireless charging compatible with both WPC and PMA. Samsung will also sell you first wireless charging pad which can fill up the battery nearly as fast as cable. NFC is a given and so is Samsung's property MSG technology for card payment is supported market. There is a full set of location service supported as well GPS, Galileo, Glonass and they do. Live message is one of the key addition this year through since still sketch are too mainstream. You can record a G GIF animation of your act of drawing. So once Bixby Vision detects something it thinks it can recognize, it gives you suggestions as to what category it thinks it falls under. Bixby then realizes on user input to take it the rest of the way. Detection often ends up cropping too much of the item. 
so you should take the time to adjust the windows for best results. Bixby Voice as an initially available when Galaxy S8 was announced, but it's here now on the Note 8. You need to enable in it in Bixby settings and then you can go ahead and press the Bixby button to talk. Text. The Galaxy Note 8 works with the same desktop which was launched with the Galaxy S8 and makes the phone into a desktop computer provider. Of course, you then supply the own monitor, keyboard and mouse. I wish the recognition should theoretically be the safest. It works with a dedicated camera aided by an inferred illumination or in our experience it unlocked the phone nearly instantly when you hold it to the right way. There is a unique way to uninstall the application. Here it is. It's a new feature of Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Yeah, you can uninstall. The S Pen hasn't changed much, that is to say, it is, uh, it's still the heart of the Galaxy Note 8 experience. The screen is barely bigger than S8 Plus screen, throwing to like the flatter shape. No taking is unrevealed on mobile, there's just no viable alternatives on any platform. Though it's hardly practical to pull out the S Pen to call someone. Once Bixby Vision detects something in him, once Bixby, there are some dedicated pressure sensors underneath, so it continues to function even when the screen is off. Plus, there is even haptic feedback which tries to emulate the tactic feedback you get when pressing a physical button. We have checked a benchmark for Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The Antutu benchmark, where we checked the graphics, the audio, the video, the camera, the processor, the RAM, each and every component of the Samsung Note 8. And we found the benchmark result is 162438, which is pretty cool. 162438 Its graphics processor is amazing for gaming you can get a very cool experience on Note 8 The OTT cable, the converter, the earphone they are pretty good then 
before but it's very similar to you know, S8 plus and S8 this is Note 8 stylus Note 8 stylus and the Note 4 stylus is pretty similar I have tried with Samsung Galaxy Note 4 Edge stylus with Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and it's very cool, no difference. Here's a headphone, sound really good. The bass nice and clear mix. Subscribe to my channel.